Hello everyone. So uh, welcome to the new lecture uh, of this particular advanced ETABS course. So in our previous lectures, uh, what we have seen, we have seen how to find out the effective width of your joint. Okay. So it is as per the how ETABS is basically calculating. We will see the differences uh, with the ETABS calculation and uh, you can say uh, the calculation of uh, the code later on. Fine. So now what we will do now we'll be finding out now we'll be finding out the capacity of of uh, you can say this particular joint shear uh, capacity of this particular joint now if you see if i if i go to the code and uh, uh, you remember let me just turn off this for a while if i just go to the code nine point one yeah here so actually there was a amendment of this particular clause here it has written tau jc okay design shear stress of the joint and again this area is multiplied so when the area is multiplied so it is nothing it is uh, not a uh it's a design shear stress it become the shear force right so that's why this amendment came which we have already discussed still i'm again showing you that this a e j is removed actually uh, when you are calculating the tau jc now in our case we have three conditions for joints confined by beams on all four faces this is uh, 1.5 root fck for joints confined by beams on three faces so 1.2 root fck and for all other joints uh, you can say it is one root fck now first of all we have to understand that when the joint is confined by all four faces or all three faces or other cases so the thing is so though you have uh, you can say here if you see you have uh, beams from all the four directions okay but the thing is uh, if you if you let me go to the code uh, again to show you how the confinement definition is given in 9.2.1 so let me just go back to the code where the definition of confinement is given actually yeah here so you can see when all four vertical faces of the joint are having beams framing into them covering at least 75 percent of the width so in that case the confinement reinforcement need to be provided okay so that means uh, it is considering the beam or the column confined by one particular face when that width of the beam is covering 75 percent of this particular width okay so here in our case uh, for this particular direction if you see the column width is 400 mm so if i find out 75 percent of 400 mm so 400 multiplied by 75 percent so it is around 300 mm we are getting okay so in that case our beam width should be at least 300 mm to consider that this particular uh, direction it is confined right if i if i sh show you the etfs calculation also display design info apply let me just go to that location let us see if it is considering this as uh, confined only so in joint shear yeah so you can see joint confinement major front major back minor front minor back so uh, if you remember if you remember that our major axis was here in that case major axis was this direction so major front major back minor front minor back okay in both all the cases our width is 200 mm which is less than 300 mm right as it is not covering 75 percent of the width of the column so ETFs is not considering this column as confined by all four faces okay so this is uh, as per the code actually uh, you have to see here you can see the so joint confinement in all the four faces it is saying no so that means though we have beams but that beams width is less than the width required uh, to be considered as confined so that's why uh, it is saying that it is not confined 
okay so as we uh, if we go to the code again so we have the third case we have the third case where in all other cases so it is not confined by any of the faces so we can see that tau jc is nothing but point one root fck okay so in our case in our case i will just i will just uh, remove this as i have written already here okay so in our case tau jc equal to 1.0 root fck okay so what is the grade of concrete we have considered let us see let me see for this i think 25 we have considered just let me see once mm. yes m25 grade so in this case our tau jc will be 1.0 root 25 newton per mm square so how much it will be how much it will be so root 25 means 5 right so it will be 5 newton per mm square okay let us see if etabs is calculating anything like that tau jc or something like this display design info right click i'll go to the joint joint share details i think i have seen something like this yeah uh, it is saying allowable shear vc actually it is wrong okay it will be tau jc only when you are saying v small okay it, it has written small vc so that means it is the shear stress actually okay it is the shear stress if you see it is in mpa not in kilonewton so it is the shear stress it is 5 it is calculating in our measure direction and also minor direction as we are calculating in the minor direction you can see it is also 5.0 correct now if you find the capacity okay if you find the capacity how will you finding the capacity we know that we got the shear stress now what you have to do to get the capacity we have to multiply this shear stress with the area so tau c into bd we remember so now it is tau jc into b j into hc sorry earlier i have written wrong actually it is hc okay fine so we'll be getting the vc or whatever they have written vj in etaps correct this is nothing but i will write it vc only it is nothing but the capacity of the joint vjc suppose so how much it will be if it is 5 newton per uh, mm square tau jc i will just write the information somewhere here that tau jc we have got 5 newton per mm square correct so here vjc will be that means the shear capacity of the joint will be 5 multiplied by 400 multiplied by uh, hc is nothing but 400 so how much we are getting so we are getting if you see it is in newton so if i just divide it by 1000 so it will be 800 kilonewton so it will be sorry it will be 800 kilonewton this is in newton actually i have divided this by 1000 so we are getting 800 kilonewton which is the shear capacity of this particular joint okay so now if i show you in e tabs again joint shear details if i go down you can see the vj which is the capacity it is nothing but 800 kilonewton even at the above also you can see the capacity vj is written as 
800 kilonewton okay so this is how the eters is basically calculating the uh, you can say joint shear capacity uh, of a beam column joint in uh, you can say as per is 139 but now there is a difference between the formula given in as per uh, is 139 and uh, that means the 2016 version and the formula that ETS is following that I have written. Okay, so in our next lecture, we will see what is this difference. We will also see the previous uh, code, some examples where those formulas were mentioned that ETS is using. Okay, so uh, and we can conclude uh, what actually we should do. Fine, so I hope you understood how this calculation is being done if you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comments or in the chat box i will try to resolve those as early as possible thank you and see you in the next lecture